Hi there guys, my name is Joel Rivers. I am the managing director and owner of The Friendly Plumber. Um, we've been using Tradeify now for about five or six years um, and they've asked us just to come up with a couple of quick videos for you guys to hopefully help you use some of the features that you might not be aware of down in the back end of Tradeify. So one of the things that I'm going to talk to you about first is the job statuses. So if you look on my screen here, you can see that each job is a slightly different color. And it's because it's all each one has been given a slightly different job status. So let me go into our settings here and I will show you. So on the this is the desktop app. So down the left hand side, I've got my settings tab here. If I click on that and then click on jobs here in the middle, you can see a few things across here. One of them is job statuses. So if we click into that, now there are some of these that you can't change um, because they are built into the Tradeify specifically. However, what we can do is create a new job status here. Um, so we can create any job status we want. It could be anything. Um, and then we can also choose a color to, uh, to assign to it. So you can see here that these are the three that I've made. These are three that we actually use in our business. This isn't my Tradeify obviously because customers details and such, but this is a, these are three that we actually use in our day-to-day -day running. So that's how you create it. So you create a new job status, type in whatever you want, um, whatever you want to call it, new stuff, whatever it is. Pick yourself a color. So we'll go black for this and then click save and it'll appear there. Now what happens is then when you go back into your scheduler, when you pick up a job, so we'll pick up this one here. So this one is just schedule. So that's basically how every job starts. What it allows us to do is when the guys out and about have finished a job or they've done as much as they can do, there's a few options. So up here, you can see the job status and they can choose. So you can see there, that's the new stuff one that we just built. So it could be parts ordered waiting for delivery. That would be more for us in the office. Um, invoice sent awaiting payment. And we can effectively then we can very quickly see, okay, well, these invoices have been paid. Once it's paid, it gets marked as complete. If it's to invoice, so the guys have finished the job, everything's done, finished, customer's happy, we're ready to sign off, it goes to invoice. Um, further work's quote required, tells the office that we need to generate a new quote for that job. So you can see there's a huge amount of flexibility in here. Um, so if I leave that as scheduled, the beauty of it is, for us in the office here, where, what it, where it works best for us, is that I can look at my diary across the week and I can very quickly get a snapshot of where we're at. So I can see, okay, cool, well, looking at this, parts ordered the waiting delivery. So I'm, I'll be in with the merchants asking, okay, where's the delivery of this? This was ordered yesterday. I'd expect it in today or tomorrow. Um, this one's in progress. So the guys are obviously at that job currently. Um, over here, this one is to invoice. So I know that we need to pick that up in the office and get that invoice sent off. And then this one over here is further works quote required. So again, we need to pick that up in the office and say, right, let's build this quote, let's get it sent off. So that's a very, very brief overview of how we use job statuses. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, have a play around with it because there's all sorts of customization that you can put into it and really make it your own. So yeah, hope that helps. Um, I understand everybody's going to run things a little bit differently. That's how we do it. I hope that helps. I'll catch you soon. If you have any questions, visit our Help Centre, give us a shout or check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon.